Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your October monthly reading. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Please do know that this is a general message, so it will not resonate with everybody out there. Feel free to check your other planetary placements. And if you're looking for something tailored to your specific situation or to your energies, please do get a private reading. And for me, that information, along with all other important information, is in the detail box down below. To all my wonderful, beautiful Gemini subscribers, thank you for your likes, shares, comments, to the channel donations, and private reading bookings. My love and gratitude runs deep, and I would not be able to do any of this without you, so thank you. To those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. We are glad to have you here. Please consider, if you're so inclined, to hit that subscribe button and join us here at Kyserian Soul. Syrian House of Tarot for the Syrian Soul family. All right, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. We'll be taking a look first at some Oracle card energy, and then we'll be getting into the Tarot, Gemini. All right, so Spirit Team, let's take a look at Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2020. Most important messages, guidance, advice coming through for my beautiful Geminis at this time. Please show me clearly and precisely the best messages, or guidance, advice coming through for my beautiful Gemini subscribers and family and watchers. Cross watchers, you well, are welcome, but do know that my main priority and focus will be on Gemini today. All right. All right, so the first card coming out is love and illumination. Beautiful. And we'll get right into these after I pull you all your cards. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. October 2020, please best messages, advice, guidance for the Gemini Collective. Most important messages that Gemini most needs to hear at this time. Please show me clearly, precisely. Accurately, best messages, advice, guidance for my Gemini Collective. Thank you, Spirit Team. All right. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for... October 2020, please. Most important messages, guidance, advice for my beautiful, wonderful Gemini for October 2020. Please show me clearly for beautiful animal spirit energy and Gemini most inhabiting. All right. And bottom of the deck, we have a dragon. All right, so starting with the Sacred Destiny deck, the first message coming out is love. Now, love is a very beautiful card. It's the wild rose. Love is all around you. Love is coming into your life. You already are more cherished than you can possibly know. Indeed, you are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you when you stand in the center of it all. All is well, no matter what is happening around you. You know that you are loved and you are lovable. You know that there is nothing that you need to do to deserve love. You are enough, just as you are. The creator is love, and in the depth of your soul, you are love. In the matters of, the, of heart and romance, all is healing is already healed. In terms of self-love, your confidence and self-esteem are growing as you take time to cherish and care for yourself. All right, beautiful, and illumination. So some things that may have been a little bit hidden are coming to light for most of you. Beautiful. Gemini's, the upward spiraling mist rising in the mountains suggests that those in the realm of spirit, your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination, you are they are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding 
by leaps and bounds. Even if you can't see what's ahead, spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and think. And you'll be guided in a wondrous direction. So this is letting you know that you are illuminated. That spirit is on your side. Things are not quite as what they see. And you need to trust your intuition, what you feel, rather than what you even see with your own eyes. Because there is something that is hidden in those depths. And it's about to be revealed if you pay attention to your intuition and allow it to guide you. Um, especially when this comes to love, things may not look like it's going very well. But you're going to find that that's just not quite the case. All right. So from your angels and your ancestors, Gemini, you have two messages coming through. We have the Druid. Hold the space. Hold things together. Don't make any sudden moves or changes. Stand strong. Know you are where you're supposed to be. When the Druid card appears in a reading, you're being guided to dig deep within and hold your station. If you're wondering what to do next or have a sense of anxiety about what is unfolding in your life, it's time to shift your perception and move back to a state of trust. Don't change your plans or do anything drastic. Just trust in the process and let everything happen as it needs to before taking any more steps. Think of a tree. It has strong roots, yet continues to grow and bear fruit. Your life will be a reflection of this. Hold the space. Don't make any drastic actions or changes. And then we have direction, guardian. Choose your path. Connect with your deeper desires, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. Your path isn't set in stone and your angels and guides have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for uh, yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and to learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savored. So if you know that there's a decision to be made and particularly if you're feeling indecisive, choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with the heart. Follow that intuition. Allow it to be your guidance system. Even if it feels uncomfortable, you're being guided to make no sudden moves, sudden changes. Allow the path that's right for you to be presented to you. It will light up. You'll see it. You'll feel it. Remember, trust what you feel rather than what you see. You'll feel which direction is right for you, Gemini. All right, so the message is coming out for the animal spirit is oyster and spider. And we have one air and one water. So some of you could be connecting with a water sign. You don't have to be. And remember that this is, you know, subjective. I feel like for, for a lot of you, this is your energies through, excuse me, through the month of... October. All right. Come with me. You know what? I'm wrong. It is water and earth. Yep. That was spectacular. Well, that's fire. We'll start with the oyster. There we go. Patient, seeker keeper, hiding inner treasures. So this could be you, or this could be somebody that you're connected with. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share. The world is waiting to see. So this is being in a state of protection. Protecting what is yours. You're withholding information. There's something that you need to say, speak, share here. Beautiful. All right. And the spider. Creator of prosperity through life's work and dharma. The spider, 
Spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving a thread of dharma into a vast, intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process-oriented rather than results-oriented. And soon your work becomes like the weavings of a magical priceless tapestry. And abundance follows. So this is about being more mindful of the process. Of being the flow. Of understanding how everything works together. Not being so driven by what results you may possibly see. But what is opening up to you. All right, Spirit Team, let's take a look at Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October 2020. Most important messages, guidance, advice coming through for my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, please. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for October 2020. I'm finding that Spirit is guiding these messages to be a little bit different than from each other. There's not one, one reading I've done so far that is one the same. So in the heart of the matter, we have the Ten of Swords being crossed by the Four of Wands. Wow. So this is indicating that something feels finished, feels complete. An end of an old cycle and beginning of a new is what I'm gathering. And that's time. It's time for growth and expansion, to heal the past and move on. For a lot of you, this could indicate a long-term st stability in your life, whether it's a job a family, a relationship, a friendship, something has come to an end or is ending here. In the distant past, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Recent past, the Chariot. What you're facing is the full future energy coming in is the Knight of Cups. Your overall energy is the King of Pentacles. Outside influences is the King of Wands. The fears and hopes and fears is the sun. Possible outcome is the six of cups. Overall energy is the eight of swords. Hidden energy is the high priestess. Bottom of the deck is the two of swords. Wow. I got goosebumps because everything I read from these cards just appeared in the spread. Okay. Wow, we're going to get some clarifications on the cards on the table. But to kind of sum this up, in the past, you know, here, the heart of the matter is something has ended. It's time to transform, transmute any feelings of betrayal and endings. You know, this is about your growth, your stability. This could be long-term commitments, marriage, marriages. This could be relationships, engagements as well. In the past, the distant past, we have the Nine of Pentacles. This is standing in your own power. This is also, you know, my single person's card. Somebody could have, you could have been single here. But I feel like this is you feeling very good, very, very well, very resourceful. Master manifester in this nine of pentacles has everything but love. And then we have recent past, the, the chariot, the card of cancer. This is aligning your highest goals and opposing forces and moving forward with purpose, very quickly, moving on, moving forward. This is a sense of victory. What you're wanting is a new day, a brand new start to take a leap of faith into the unknown. Start from a place of a novice where there is no direction that is for certain. What is coming in to you in the future is the Knight of Cups. This is a romantic love offer or an offer for some of you. It could be business as well or a creative project. But an offer of all the same is coming in here for you, where a lot of you, this will be love. How you're being seen at this time is the Nine of Pentacles. This is about 
you know, being in that place of moving very slow, somewhat stagnated. Outside influence is the King of Wands. Now, this is somebody who is passionate, driven, well-spoken, and intellectual, very intelligent, very charismatic. And everybody loves the King of Wands. Everybody wants to follow the King of Wands because of his personality. He is also somebody who breaks free from societal demands and expectations. He has his own goals and methods of getting to them that will not make sense to much too many other people, but it makes sense to the King of Wands. Can be a bit scattered at times energetically, but with purpose. The future energy coming in, hopes and fears here, is the sun. You're wanting to be happy. You're wanting to get to that place of joy and bliss and nostalgia. A living from a place of spontaneity before the hurt and the pain set in. And what possible outcome we have is the Six of Cups. Now, this could be returning to a past project, a past relationship. Does not necessarily have to be love, could be. But friendship, this could be returning to the past you for some of you or something from your past returning. Does it not always have to be love? And for some of you, this will be somebody that you've never even met before, but is coming in and is a soulmate. You have known them in a past life. All right, so Spirit Team, let's take a look at the cards on the table for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is this Ten of Swords being crossed by the Four of Wands? Thank you. Yeah. You're overcoming, you're overcoming some type of betrayal, some type of ending. You're coming through this worn and tired it's going to be a partnership some of you this could be business some of you this is going to be love or even family but it's been a hard it was feeling like betrayal but the, there is the ace of wand the the divine is at work bringing a spark a reconnection a passionate new idea to life where you're going to come through this or coming through this victoriously in this partnership coming together some of you this is going to be new some of you this is going to be a reconciliation because by this being divinely guided, it could be a Virgo for some of you. What is this Four of Wands energy? What is this Four of Wands energy? Thank you. All right. So there is a destruction here for some of you. Something that was long-term, long-held, long-held beliefs, beliefs, patterns when it comes to love and thought patterns. It's coming to an end. The tower is here destroying that foundation that you thought was solid. But you're going to persevere. You're going to overcome. And you're going to have reasons to celebrate. So it's like always darkest before the dawn is the exact energy that I'm getting here. And this is a rebirth of energy like nothing you've ever seen before. What is this Nine of Pentacles past energy, please, for my Gemini's? Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, one more please, thank you, Injustice, the Star, okay, so I feel like for you in the past, somebody lied possibly about being single to some of you. This was a third party situation, but I see that it was unintentional, meaning you did not mean to be a third party. Or for some of you, didn't mean to create a third party situation. But it balanced out. Um, justice came in and brought you, brought you into balance. And this could have caused you to be a little bit more protective with your heart space. But you did cut this person out. For others of you, I see this as this. I see you as strong. I see you as independent and resourceful. I see you trying to work towards something. You're wanting to build, create a solid foundation. I feel like you were building a solid foundation, possibly for some of you with a Libra. Or with somebody who may have been in a position of authority, a lawyer, a judge, a boss, a CEO, something of that of that stature, okay? Somebody that was very respectable. Law enforcement. That's also what I'm getting with that. 
any type of law enforcement or enforcement, period. Um, but this was built on deception. And this is what caused this tower to be coming in because you cannot build a solid foundation built on deceptions, lies, and manipulations. All right, what do we have for the chariot for my Gemini's recent past energy? The sun. That's too many. Please show me clearly. The four of wands. The page of cups and the two of swords. All right, so my beautiful Geminis, you may have been dealing with a cancer. Um, or somebody come in, come in very quickly, wanting reconciliation, wanting victory, wanting to bring this happiness to you. You are their happiness. or the, you know, Feel free to swap these roles around. This could have been you moving towards someone very quickly, offering messages of love. Of, of, this could be a, a quick job offer that came in, a quick offer to work on a project that was going to lead to happiness and stability long-term stability um this person was offering you maybe even some of you this was an a proposal of engagement i'm seeing that very clearly however you're at a crossroads something just doesn't feel right about it so you put a you put a pause and you're trying to take you took a step back to get some wisdom some knowledge in the situation whether this is you moving towards this person or this person moving towards you whether this was an proposal of marriage engagement or offer to move in together however it's going to you know resonate with you there was some type of offer love message you know maybe this could be as simple as let's start things back up again or i'm sorry let's talk um you you took a step back from it it just didn't quite feel right to you what is this full energy For some of you this is you wanting to make okay we're getting the magician wanting to take that leap of faith to trust this person the empress wow all right look at that and the knight of wands and the emperor okay so some of this is somebody returning i'm just gonna say there is a magnetic couple here we have the empress and the emperor both you're wanting to take a leap of faith this could be a mother and father situation Somebody has been in and out. You're wanting to take action. You're wanting to transform, transmute, manifest. Some of you are trying to manifest this this power couple into reality. For for whoever this is for you, it could be Aries. It could be any any of the zodiac signs. You're trying to manifest a tangible relationship that is suited for each other. Some of you are wanting to take action. For others of you, this could be a mother father situation where you're trying to trying to manifest a change, to change things around, to take a leap of faith, to take action on this, yeah, lovers, Gemini, to, I'm, to, yeah, you want to heal this heartbreak, you want to change this pain, and this is where you're stuck, this is where you're feeling stuck, some of you, this could be, I'm getting off the message, this could be somebody, you got another love offer, a new person coming in, so some of you may be caught between two people, because, or, you know, this could be some of you may have children with somebody or could live with somebody or thought this person was your, your, you know, your soul match, your twin flame, your, your person. So you're really stuck on that. But then this person comes in, this other person comes in and, and, and it's shaking you up and you're wanting, you're at that crossroads because you're not knowing which one to choose. All right. What is this Knight of Cups future energy coming in? Five of Pentacles. King of Cups. Four of Swords. All right. So some of you may pass on this love offer. It might be a loss, even though there's deep love here. You're trying to heal and trying to move on from it, or you may be contemplating this offer. Um, some of you, this person coming back in, yeah, you're a lot emotionally overwhelmed by this offer. 
You have some of you have multiple offers. Some of you, this might be a you know long term steady person. This could be somebody who has a lot of resources, um, has a lot of abundance around them, very grounded. Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo does not have to be. Um, I feel like there's a lot of emotional confusion when it comes to this offer and you're contemplating it. There's deep, deep love here that may not have words for expression, but there's also the sense of, of abandonment and loss that may be keeping you at a distance from this and not knowing which way to go. And you may be a little blocked from this person. All right, let's take a look at this Knight of Pentacles where you're currently at my Gemini's where is my Gemini's currently at mm, the Hermit Virgo energy and the Knight of Swords the Ace of Swords the Queen of Cups all right, so I feel like, again, this is okay. So Spirit is shining a light on your intuition. It's telling you to move slowly and proceed with caution. Fight against the need and want to act impulsively with this Knight of Swords. To wait for the truth, but more importantly, wait for the clarity in this new beginning for you, for the right path. Follow your intuition to your wish fulfillment not only is it focus on yourself your self-love your self-worth see your worth follow your intuition towards what's going to make you truly happy from within it's not something that somebody's going to be able to provide you it has to come from within and it will lead you to your ten of pentacles the, that place of abundance universal abundance and blessings behind it is the king of wands all right so what is this king of wands energy for my beautiful Gemini's outside influence, the King of Wands. So this we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is somebody who's being patient and waiting, evaluating the situation, waiting for the right timing. Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's working on a, a very carefully crafted plan. Um, maybe to resurrect this from the past because they have regrets and sadness. And they're not sure how you're going to react if they come forward right now with an offer. They're evaluating whether or not to move forward. Yeah. Queen of Swords. They're afraid you might strike them down if they come forward. But destiny is turning. The wheel is at turning is turning here. Could be a Capricorn for some of you. Um, but the wheel is turning. Fate is making this changes, making these moves. Yeah. Okay, so what is the sun? We're getting the world. We're getting the page of wands. So an end of an old cycle, in the beginning of a new, the wheel of fortune and the devil. So I feel like it's overcoming and ending toxic patterns and cycles and being able to forge forward on a new adventure, a new journey that's going to lead to your happiness to this place of the sun, back to that place of innocence and nostalgia. And some of you, this will be with a fire sign or at least with somebody who holds that position of being, you know, driven, charismatic, intelligent, intellectual, well-spoken, um, socially out there, socially vibrant. This is somebody who takes no prisoners and has no holdbacks. This is somebody who's very driven towards their goals, towards accomplishment. What is this Six of Cups? Possible outcome, future energy coming into this spread, please. Show me clearly and precisely what is the Six of Cups. There's the higher font, Taurus energy. Could be a returning Taurus. Could be going back to school. This could be connecting with your higher self. Again, return to your old, old self. There is the Emperor. Taking charge, taking action on your life. And a new opportunity. Bottom of the deck is leaving the past behind you. Leaving what no longer suits your highest goals. What no longer aligns with yourself. And moving away from that. Some of you this is, could be a soulmate coming in. Maybe Aries. Maybe Taurus for some of you. 
could be somebody that's in that position of a teacher, a leader, a father, but there is an opportunity, a beautiful new opportunity opening up. You just have to write, leave behind what no longer suits you for this new renewal and love and stop worrying about it because the day, the dawn of the day is coming. You'll know it when it gets here because then you won't have to be at this place of indecision. You'll be able to choose your path. You will not. It's all in limbo. It's all in limbo. And that's why spirit is telling you to hold your course, make no sudden changes, to remember, to live in the moment, trust your intuition, wait for divine guidance, wait for the signal. Because when it comes, when it's illuminated, you will see it. You will feel it before you see it, but you will feel it. And you will see it at the end. All right, Gemini, that is all I have for you. Please let me know in the comments down below if it resonated with you. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet done so. It helps this video circulate for everyone. Last but not least, remember to live in light and love. Namaste. Bye for now.